What up, peeps? Peeps. We're gonna do a see how science experiment right now. All right, Gina. Wait, what are we doing? The microwave thing? We're gonna put a peep. We're gonna put one of you guys. Now we're gonna put a peep. All right, here, get a plate. In the microwave and sees what happens. I said we put it up for ten minutes. Ten minutes. Twenty minutes. They get really big. Two at a time. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna use some of my peeps Damn. up. You should put a GoPro in the microwave with yeah. it. Oh, yeah, so we can capture it. <laughs> yeah, that will work. Oh, I just cleaned the microwave yesterday. Too. All right. You guys ready? One minute. One just minute. Just to start. Here we go, peeps. What's going to happen to them? Look, they're getting big already. They're growing. Oh my God. They're growing. They're going to deflate when you open it, I bet. You have to take a bite really quick. I'm not biting that. You bite it? Yeah. Oh, my God. That one's getting real pregnant. They're, like, fighting each other. Pretty soon. It's like they got a fart and they've been holding it in for years. Alrighty. Should I bite his head? They'll probably burn you. Ah! Wait, it actually made them bigger. Yo, if you want to like get peeps and eat them, put them in where they get larger. Look, they push their bowls right into each other. Look at this. How did that happen? We gave them food on the other sides of the room and somehow they, they ended up in front of each other. I turned it on for two more minutes. Look what happened. Ew. Ew. It pooped inside of itself. It's like burnt and poopy. This one. What if it was like that and we just didn't know? I'm trying to sniff everything. Uh, do you want to Neither. And the peep? Don't look at her that. Do you think she's going to eat it? It's hot. Get it away. She's not going to eat it. I was like, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> she thinks anything we have is good. So we try to get a little gym session in. We've been going ham lately. Look how skinny Gina got. Cheese and rice, Gina. I mean, I got okay shape. What do you think? I need to get that six pack. Let me see where you at. Are you getting close? Summertime's coming. We gotta get six or out. Seventy six or out. I was better like a week ago. Until I showed up, made no, you all crap. No, it's I got my Easter candy. Uh, you look great. So we're listening to that song. Got two phones, one for the plug and one for the load. Plug? It sounds like it says blood. I don't know, but look at my hair. Oh, it's Plug. 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 What does he really say? So one of your guys' thing that you've been saying in the comments more than anything is, we want an at-home chill vlog. Well, guess what? We at home chilling. Yo, we've been going ham these last eight months. This feels good. I slept till two o'clock today. Two o'clock. I just was like, this is great. But all the stuff that my boy Brandon taught me in the gym, I'm trying to apply here. It's not as good because I'm on my phone. I need my trainer. Can you be my trainer? I can, but you don't. You gotta listen. push me. I'll push you. My hair getting dumb wild, yo. Dumb wild, Gina. Are we all done? We wrapped up. Gym shirt got shine. Team gonna get some shine. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, no, my friend. She's scaring the. <laughs> He's trying to come to me for safety. <laughs> it's okay. She's over now. It's okay. Dog. This doesn't scare you. This is a dog, Nyla. <laughs> if you put it on your head, she'll probably she probably would have got more scared. So I, I feel like it's been a while since we just sat down and had a conversation with the peeps, mm -hmm. because I feel like things have been a lot different since my mom passed away and I mean obviously things wouldn't be the same you know I mean people deal with things differently and I just want to address some things that I've seen in the comments and address some stuff for you guys so you're not in the dark and you kind of understand what's going on because I rarely respond to trolls or negative stuff in comments but this isn't negative this is just i don't think you guys really understand the other day or a couple weeks ago i posted a photo of the f tattoo with my mom on it and like a lot of people in the comments were confused like they didn't even know what was going on or they didn't and then and then i realized like yeah when, when the whole thing happened we kind of went silent on the internet and then we didn't really talk about it because i didn't feel like i was right so, I mean, it's been like three months now. Oh my God, fighters. We're trying to talk to the peeps about something serious. Get out of here and fight over there. Oh my God, I wish you could see now. Running, running around from Amanda. They could probably see in the mirror. I just wanted to address this with you guys, and this way we could still continue 
to make dope videos for you and then maybe you'll can understand why things were different for the last three months and just awkward and I was in a weird state of mind and I still kind of am. What happened with my mom is like you guys know that she would like was missing and I feel like that's where we left it at like we we're just like she's missing and then I didn't say what happened. So well what happened was my mom was suffering from severe depression and she was self-medicating herself with the wrong kind of substance in the world, which you should never do. I didn't know, like, it was like, an, it was like a, a thing that went on for a while with my mom. She's been in and out of rehab. She was dealing with it for like 11 years, substance abuse. And we tried everything with her. My mom was just going through rough times and we've tried everything at the time. And then when she went missing, you guys didn't know is she, stole a bunch of pills and she was missing with those pills and these are the same pills that she's taken before and she tried to commit suicide once before and that happened when we used to vlog and I, I remember I don't think I told you guys why she was in the hospital I was like my mom's in the hospital and that's why she tried to commit suicide I put her in a coma that was a long time ago if you guys remember I think it was like last two years ago I know but long. it was a long time ago in the vlogs and so when she went missing, we were all dreading the fact that you know, she took all these pills and, and then she knows that she committed suicide. And so for a whole week, my mom was missing and I was just terrified. Like I didn't know, like I, I was so scared. Like we looked for her car and I was scared that I would find her car because I didn't want to find my mom, you know, you know, in the back of a car in, in the way that she would be. Eventually we found her and she did, she committed suicide. and. And uh, I guess I just never told you guys that, like my mom, I, the last 12 years of my life was, have suffered from, you know, drugs and, and there's fucked up shit. So I just wanted you guys to know, like, that's what I was dealing with and that's what happened to my mom. So there should be no more freaking questions about it. And I just hope we can move on from that with you guys. And, and that's it. So I just want to get that off my chest. And hopefully I could help maybe in some way make videos if you are suffering from any kind of drug abuse or anything and just don't do it. I don't know, fuck. Ow. Yeah, it's been tough and sad and difficult to deal with. I'll be honest with you guys, it made me go a little crazy. Still is. And you guys can probably tell in the videos that I have changed. So, maybe if I felt like if I got it off my chest, Maybe it would help me snap out of it and not dwell on it so bad. So, yeah, there it is. Drugs are bad. Having severe depression is probably really hard. I don't, I, I, I sometimes get worried that I might get it because maybe it's hereditary. I don't know. I don't think I have it. Sometimes I think I have it, but I will never self medicate. I don't ever trust pharmaceutical companies. And it's not my place to sit there and bash people that are on pharma pharmaceutical drugs. Like, I don't even know their situation. But for me, I'll never take them. So if I ever need surgery, and they're like, oh, here's Percocet for your pain. Nope, I'd rather deal with the pain. I'm sorry to bring the vlogs depression. We don't ever do that. We always stay away from depress like depressing vlogs and keep them uplifting and happy. I just hope that I'll be able in the future to understand more of this stuff and teach people or help people that suffer from depression and maybe give them some tools. I'm going to bed. You alright? No, yeah, I just feel like I should tell you guys that. And tomorrow should be a fun vlog. There's a cool parade. We'll probably miss it. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> we miss every parade. we get to the end of it. And uh, I just want to say thank you, Dope Fresh Nation, to the peeps that's been sticking with us. I know a lot of people probably bounce because they're all butthurt about YouTube Red, which drives me crazy because we got we fought for it to be free versions. I just I think it's confusing in their sub boxes and they're not understanding that there's a free version. But you guys have made it to the end of the video. You hopefully you do. And let's go to bed. All right, peeps. We love you guys. Thank you for your support all the time. Good night. Peace. Stick with us, peeps. It's going to get better for me. I promise. I hope. Peace. That shit is not safe. You're talking about the Karen Bean clip. Karen Beaner. Karen Beaner clip. I'm talking about the thing the hospital is that you said like this.